You see that? Little cardinal up there in the tree. Spring is right around the corner. So today we are uh, going to one thrift store and then back to my warehouse to go through my death pile because it's, uh, it's pretty, well, you'll see, you'll see. Welcome to another thrift hunt. What I have here is a vintage Sheraton Hotel ashtray. If you're a member of Macro Micro, you're going to read a deep dive post on fast food ashtrays. This one from a hotel worth about 10, 15 bucks. So I left it. I think that's a, a, a lid to something. And then I saw this buck 99, no brand, a uh, cool like bubble effect. So I bought that. We'll see what I can get for it. I'm still just learning this kind of stuff. I don't think it's very rare, but it did look pretty cool to me. So that's why I bought it. The next item was really cool. Three bucks says hot water on here. On the other side, it says logging camp number one. This is a cast aluminum water pitcher. I was able to ID the brand, even though it's all scratched up, uh, and the brand is Banner. And so this is from the 1950s. Potentially, it could be from an actual logging camp. Uh, the railroad logging era in Michigan ended in 1963, so there is a bit of overlap there. I'm not sure if it's just meant to look like a logging camp thing as a, a, a bit of decor, or if it really is. If it is, that's an awesome piece of Michigan history. You can see it's all scratched off, but I found the exact same one, exact same handle. If I can find some late 50s Michigan logging camp photos and I can place those water pictures there, I'm going to charge like $250 for it otherwise it only goes for like 50 bucks i turned the corner and these bright vibrant colors really caught my eye it's avon 1977 a perfume decanter worth about 10 15 bucks this qualifies as a bad buy it's a john deere thermometer ceramic it goes for about 10 15 bucks uh, i paid two bucks for it I could not find any exact listings for sale when I was in the store. I came home, did some more research, and there are tons of them. So I'll just, you know, maybe just auction it off and get it out of my way. I bought the much smaller version of this hand-blown vase yesterday for, uh, let's see, I think I paid a buck ninety-nine. This one is about seven or six dollars. Much bigger, very dirty. They're a bit asymmetrical. I like them. I'm not sure what I can get for them, but along with this uh, blown glass vase right here, I'm more just buying these to see what they can go for on auction, to see uh, what kind of questions buyers ask me. I'm really just exploring this glass vase space because I think these are beautiful. And I don't know what the market, how it totally, how they're valued. Uh, and if I get a lot of eyes on them or if I tell a great story with them, if I can get more than the market price, because a lot of times when these are auctioned off, they go for like 10, 15, 20 bucks, but I think they're worth more. This piece is absolutely awesome. $4.00. Really big, heavy, soapstone, hand-carved cross. Pretty sure it's soapstone. Uh, soapstone comes in a lot of different colors. This is the black variety, a little bit of green in there. If you were to buy the amount of soapstone needed to make this at a retail place, it's like uh, this measures like eight and a half by six. That costs like 80 bucks in soapstone. It's pretty expensive right now. So I'm saying this is worth like 70 bucks. So here is uh, most of my death pile. <laughs> The things that I haven't listed that I, I guess these are all listed, but this stuff back here and back there all needs to be listed. And I, the things that I bought just because I know that that was a good deal. Like all these are sealed Sega Genesis games. I've had these for three or four years. Uh, I figured, you know, sealed games are going to go up eventually. And uh, sure enough, they did. I paid about four or five bucks for all of these. Uh, and I'm going to list them. They're just pretty, you know, basic you know, whatever, Bass Tournament 96 uh, type games. Nothing that has like a huge collector value that I think, I mean, I, I don't think will go for like $1,000 or more, um, but I think like 60 bucks a piece probably is going to be like the market value. Um, I've got some more over here. Uh, there's some PlayStation 2 games that are sealed. I wish this was sealed. It's not, unfortunately. That would have been nice. Um, some Dreamcast games. Some Dragon Ball Z games. Just basic stuff that I've been holding on to for a while. You know, all these sealed games still. Waiting for the market to kind of peak. And I think maybe it did peak. Maybe I should have listed them before Christmas. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? This is currently how I have all my books and uh, video games on eBay stored. And uh, it's a very bad system. I'm basically just going off of memory. <laughs> which, is, which is not good. We've got more back there uh, and then more all along here and so i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to store these books um 
A lot of these are low value. I think if I can raise my average sale price on books to 25 bucks, that will justify a overhaul. But like all these, these are just like books that I got off an Amazon return pallet five years ago that I just listed because they'd been in a box and I was bored. So uh, going forward, I don't know what I'm gonna do with books like that. Probably just donate them because it's not worth the hassle. But the, the new books that I'm getting, uh, like for example, I don't see any off the, well, let's see. Um, like this, Freezing and Canning Cookbook. That's at least a $25 sale. The uh, Desire of Ages, I think I have it listed at like 30 bucks. So books like this, I think what I'll do is alphabetize them by what's on the cover. Because not all these books have an author. I'm not sure. I gotta keep looking into it. I'm very curious to hear how you store your books. There's the... Uh, there's the cool bookends that I list. I put them at 140. I will definitely take an offer of like 80 bucks. I think they're awesome. Maybe I should just keep them here to uh, get all my books stored. Um, but definitely, it takes me like sometimes like 20 minutes to find a book. And if it's only worth 25 bucks, that is not a good use of my time, in my humble opinion. So I'd love to hear how you do it uh, and how you think I can improve because certainly it's just everything is just like I said. Um, you know, sometimes I'll have number or markers on the shelf and I'll use like the eBay subtitle to ha or the eBay, um, custom skew. But as you can see here, I don't have that going on. So it's going to be a huge, you know, inventory overhaul of some sort. Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for sticking around. We'd love to hear what you have to say. There's that cool thing I just listed as well. Uh, the secret message for today is the letter T. I think it's letter T. Write down the letter T.